WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of mostly sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update, and currently we have a sea of green as it pertains to the U.S. indices. The Dow's up 259 points. That's about eight tenths percent. One and three tenths for the S&P, or 52 points. A little over two percent for the Nasdaq 100. That's up 245, about two percent for the Russell. That's 36 points. To the upside semis are up three and a quarter percent. They're trading out at 28.16. They're up 88 bucks. Trainees are up 185. One and a quarter percent there. Gold is off two dollars. Silver's down forty-three cents, nearly two percent. Light sweet crude is back uh, seventy-six pennies, trading on eighty-five twelve. Natural gas is up three cents, and the thirty-year Treasury printed out one twenty-four sixteen. That's up nearly one full point. It's twenty-seven thirty seconds. Let's go take a look at that nine panel market update chart. We begin with the ES mini in your upper upper left hand corner. What we have right now. And process in A to B equals C D to the upside. That price projection is 4126. If we take a look at the spot volatility, still below its 50-day exponential moving average. The 50 days at 2690. The spot is at 2378. That usually puts the wind at the sails of the back of the bulls. If you take a look at the NQ, it has found resistance or potential resistance. That is the top of that weekly profile. 11986 is the level we'll be watching most certainly on Friday versus today on Tuesday. But if we do get a close above 11,986, that suggests a further move higher. The U.S. dollar index, it's uh, trading below or trading really right at the 1.272. A to B equals CD to the downside. You see the A to B equals CD pattern. There's a possibility. Don't know what it will look like at day's end. But there's a possibility we'll get a bullish amber candle. And if we do, that will confirm a buy the D point or a Gartley buy pattern for the U.S. dollar index. Well, you've got gold at the top of its weekly profile. That's resistance, 1779. So I've got two instruments at the top of their weekly profile, the NASDAQ and the uh, and gold. And if we do get a bullish Gartley buy pattern, well, that would suggest that that resistance will hold and price will move lower. If we take a look at silver, there is a new profile that's been attempting to form. It continues to change throughout the day right now. 2031 is where the bulls are hanging out, and 2208 is where the bears are hanging out. Price right now is trading out at uh, 2166. Light speed crude needs to hold the support area, the center of its weekly profile. That's at 7688. If it does that, we might see a run back up to the 8918 level. If it closes below there, then we're looking at a further move lower. Natural gas consolidated with inside its daily profile, and the 30 year treasury also has resistance. That's the top of its bear structure. Daily profile 124.09. We're trading out at 124.16. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader Z Show. But if you're off to start your Tuesday, please have a terrific one. And we'll look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care.